What's up you guys, After to Reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to the season 1 finale of Stargate SG-1. Wow, so this has been a like challenge. Um, so, uh, just to give you a bit of a timeline here, um, Stargate was not something that I was interested in reacting to, if I'm honest. Um, my dad and my sister loved it, but I don't know. I was always disinterested in it um, it was selected as a the movie was selected um, and I watched that like I reacted to that um, and then uh, the first two episodes were selected um, and I didn't hate them and then the third episode then so like this is all within like a couple of months uh, maybe three months three episodes maybe four months because of the movie and then we had I don't know, th three or four months I watched the movie, first two episodes, and then the third episode, and then I was like, you know what, we can do this. Um, so I decided to do like an episode a week, um, and you know, some weeks th that kind of fell through, um, some weeks I did two episodes, I did like a little bit of a binge here or there, like, and here I am. Um, so it's been like, it's been a while since I started the first episode. Actually, I'm I'm actually kind of curious uh, when that would have been. Um, let's find out, shall we? <sighs> Usually I do this like, I don't know, seasons into a show, but I'm intrigued. Alright, so... Um... Reacted to the movie on January 10th, 2021. Um, and then, you know, I did episode 1 and 2 um, the same month. I did them both together. Okay. Interesting. Really? Same day? Alright. Um, and then we had the third episode on the 3rd of March. And then when did I, like, actually proper pick up this show as, like, a regular? Um, it was episode four. So that was the 10th of March, 2021. So seven days after that one, I, I guess. Uh, at least when it was posted. Um, yeah. So it's now the 19th of August. So it's been, like, a while since we've... We've gone through this season slowly in a slow burn, and I've definitely, definitely enjoyed um, it a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, how have you guys felt about these reactions? I'm curious. Since mentioning that, like, since announcing that this would be a show on the channel, people have been very excited. People are like, I can't wait for like August 30th, because like apparently that's when the first episode is going to be released. Um, on Patreon that is. I'm not just, I, I don't remember about YouTube. Anyways. Um, but yeah. I'm, I'm intrigued how you guys have felt about this. Anyways. Uh, let's get into the episode. Rawr, rawr. Got a minute, sir? Come on in, Jack. Have a seat. I never anticipated how much paperwork is involved in shutting down a facility. Not exactly the last brave act I wanted to do before retiring. So you're still just gonna throw it in, huh? Well, I was a month away from retirement before we started the SGC. Oh, All no. He was... He's gonna die. Prediction, he's gonna die. That's what you do. I'm a month away from retirement. I'm a couple of days away from retirement. Usually that person dies. That's like a common trope, right? Well, let's face it. It was a pretty wild ride. Yes. Personally, I don't think we should be getting off that ride just yet. Colonel, we've been through this. I agree with you, but we have our orders. They're ill-conceived orders, sir. I agree, but they're orders just the same. I, for one, follow orders. Even though we are the only line of defense protecting this planet. I know that. I know you know that, sir. You're still just gonna chuck it, huh? I don't know you don't what else you can do. You do everything to prevent this shutdown? I went back to Senator Kenzie twice. The second time, he had me forcibly removed from his office. I went to the Secretary of Defense, the Joint Chiefs, Hell, I finally called the president himself. What'd he say? 
He said that to override the Senate committee on this one would be political suicide for him. It's over, Jack. No extensions, no reversals, no new hearings. The Stargate will be buried literally and figuratively. Interesting way to end the season, though. Like, you've had all these adventures, and, like, in the season one finale, we're questioning whether or not to have it. Then I must return through the Stargate as soon as possible. Yes, we all should go through the gate as soon as possible. Whoa, 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 go through. To where? To the coordinates I got in the other reality. Daniel, damn it. Jack, it was real. Okay, even if it was, how do we know that that address correlates with this reality? Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? We should enter the coordinates and attempt to open the gate. There's a sheet over it right now. Hold on. Has anyone considered that we would be in gross violation of orders? Sir, we would be court-martialed the second oh. we got back. If, if we get back. Jack, if we don't go through, what I saw in the other reality could happen here. This whole planet could be wiped out. Now, in the other reality, by the time I left, Sarah was dead. Carter, your whole family was dead. Hell, I was dead. Everyone Daniel, was dead. I got it. Okay, well, don't you think we should see if we can stop the same slaughter from happening here? Let me ask you something, Jack. If we don't go through now and the ghoul do attack later, how are you gonna feel? How are just the four of us going to stop the attack anyway, even if we do go through? Well, we'd have a lot better chance now than we would trying to stop an overwhelming onslaught later. Trust me, I have seen it. If the coordinates are for a Gold world, which is not on the Abydos cartouche, the Gold will most likely not expect us. I believe a medical attack could be successful. Surgical attack, Teal. <laughs> it's called a surgical attack, and I'd feel like an idiot. Sir? I was answering Daniel's question. If we don't do something now and they do attack later, I'd feel like an idiot. We go. I too will go. It's not an order, Captain. I'm going. Damn straight! Attention all personnel. Unauthorized Stargate activation. Alright, let's go. Woo! Let's go disobey some orders. to look back to just to the moment that it said Scar is in this episode. It look like there are any doors I guess it makes sense because, you know, the season finale. I feel like we need to go back to that. What are these things? Transport containers. Much like your shipping crates. So they're shipping something through the gate? Or receiving. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Careful. Last time I saw someone just like looking around or something and they ended up turning into a Blue goddess. Wonder if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Cool. What are these things? Weapons. This is a Goa'uld Zap Nyukatel. A weapon using a Ek different Nyukatel. form of energy, less what? powerful than that of a staff weapon. Less destructive, but still quite deadly. Sweet. Pass them on. What'd you call it? Zat Nyukatel. Right. Let's call it a Zat gun, huh? How do you fire it? One need only squeeze it here to fire. The Goa will take great pleasure in discharging the weapon only once on a subject, causing him great pain, disabling but not killing him. A second shot will kill most subjects. Nice. What the hell's that? Oh, everybody okay? Are they... I was thinking for a moment, are they on the ship? It's like some kind of weird planetary ship. We should dive home immediately. Do it, Dan. Like maybe they have the Stargate on a ship? What, we're just gonna go home? Dan. Obviously not, but like... What, I dialed home just like I did a minute ago, just like I've done a million times before. You were just gonna go home? Again. That, that doesn't make sense. I feel like they needed to do this to be like, hey look, they're stuck. But like, it doesn't make sense that they would just go home now because they just kind of disobeyed a whole bunch of orders oh it's a big ball can't wait to tell my friends but they don't have a ball this big 
You know, where those, like, pupils are, is that, like, where they're supposed to be able to see out of? Because I'm just saying, that's not how our pupils work. That's, that you, there's no way you, your eyes are, like, <laughs> you know? Tilk, what is this? It is a Goa'u long-range visual communication device. Somewhat like your television, only much further advanced. Think it gets showtime? <laughs> can you open that door? Now that I know its location, I believe I can. Sarcophagus. Oh, great. More snake heads. Teal, any idea which one's in here? Teal. We're not on a planet, are we? That is correct. I was right. If we were aboard a Goa'u transport vessel. I was right. The was hyper launch. Oh my God! I know things. That was honestly just a guess, and when I said it, I was like, well, I feel like I was just disproved by the, the whoosh thing that like happened to them, but... Dip. We'll send them out through first. If it's clear, you'll go through immediately. <laughs> yes, sir. I'd like to re-emphasize, Major, that officially your primary mission is to bring back SG-1 for court-martial. Yes, sir. Major, bring them back alive and well. That's my plan, sir. Chevron 7 will not lock. What happened, Sergeant? I'm sorry, sir. I We'll find out. Hey! How you doing? Uh... Seen a bathroom around here? So it has three modes. Okay. Stun, kill, Destroy. The third shot disintegrates him. Disintegrates. Oh, that's the one. Great. You didn't feel this was worthy of mention, I take it. You know how to fly one of these things? Of this, I am unsure. It appears to be of a new technology. So you couldn't turn this tub around, I take it. I am qualified only to pilot the Goal death gliders. I suggest we relocate to another chamber as soon as possible. The royal sarcophagi are rather left unattended for long. Some problems then. Teal, how fast can the ship go? A gold Hatak vessel can travel at ten times the speed of light. Okay, so if we are heading to Earth, then we have a long time. Based on what? Based on the coordinates of the planet we gated to. We didn't gate to a planet, we gated to a ship. Yeah, but that ship had to have been in orbit around or on the surface of a planet in order for those gate coordinates to work. So, based on the location of those coordinates, even if we were traveling at ten times the speed of light, it would take at least a year to get to Earth. Probably more. <laughs> They're being summoned to some sort of gathering. Chelhold Jaffa. The end of a dark moment in Guaman history approaches. Soon we will wipe out the scourge that plagues us. I will rejoin you as we come out of the shadows. Until then. You are to follow all orders of my son as if they were my own. Why have they got like a. Like as though it's like a really old footage thing, like. You know, the line that used to happen. I think you're supposed to be more technologi te technologically advanced. Was this Scar? The mighty warrior. Corral. Del Cole Java. Kel. Apophis. I don't know what they're saying. Is he turned into like a god? I don't get it. 
called him his son. That's sick. Not exactly a chip off the old block. The ghoul inside Skara is probably the son of the one inside Apophis. Well, thank you, Daniel. That's encouraging. I'm just trying to help. O'Neill, what is our plan of attack? We're gonna split up. Carter, you and Daniel start planting C4. I don't go ship. old. And what are you and Teal gonna do? Mate. Like the little slithery things? Do they do... Sir, are you sure? I mean, it would be like trying to take Apophis. They do not know we're aboard. There'd be little reason to keep him under heavy guard. Okay, but with respect, sir, I think you're making an emotional decision here. Maybe. But it's also the best strategic decision. Jack has a point. If we can capture him, maybe we can get through to the old Skara. Kendra said that she could fight past her ghouls when it was still inside of her. Let's go. Sir, contingency plan. C4. <laughs> This is why you don't leave your weapons unattended, people. You dare to do this to Clorel, you die a painful death. Yeah, yeah, whatever. There's a raised hieroglyphic on the wall next to the door. It resembles a coiled serpent. Push and burn it. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Be able to access this room for some time. When were you taught that? <laughs> All right. Those things have to be fueled by something, and fuel is usually combustible, so. So if we blow up one, we'll probably start a chain reaction. Perhaps I will not kill you. Perhaps you will make a good host yourself. All right. Promise me this thing won't kill him. Two shots will. One shot will only cause him great pain. So here's the deal. Let him out, let him talk to me, or you get the whole load. You will only hurt your friend. He's a tough kid. Your friend is too afraid to come forward. He enjoys my protection. He really does not wish to speak with you. Is that right? Let him go, Teal. Let him go. What are you about to do? Please forgive us. Kid, come on, hang on. What are you about to do? Drop a knock, Twinkle! Stop the weapon! Release Chlorel. <laughs> it sounds like this, like, Chlorel? Like, Kal El? Uh. Come on, Scar. Help us. Release him. Or we will kill the human. If you kill the human, I will kill Chlorel. And the host in which he resides. The traitor and his recruiter. My father will be pleased. A Naquita in the gate will magnify. Naquita! Woo! I'm just hoping they can't see us through this thing. I've been told to tell you guys that um, Nakwada is very heavy. Um, and if you need to carry a lot, you might want to, uh, might want to, you know, put infinite weight on. Um, because it's very heavy. That's all. Father, I wish to present you great gift. The traitor, Tyrk. And I present the human that recruited him. Hey, Pops. Silence! Chlorel, where did they come from? I do not know. We found them after departure. How many more came with you? Thousands. We brought a whole army. I assure you, Father, there could be no more. They were 
wish to go home to your planet? Of course. Jump. I'll talk to more. O'Neill, prepare yourself for it. <laughs> Extreme deceleration. Oh my god. Oh, it's Saturn. You will get to see your home one last time before you and everyone on your planet are destroyed and your kind will disturb the gold no more. So, Carter's mathematics, no good. Gosh, I feel like they've done that so much this episode. <laughs> hitting them to be honest. They've got armor on. Unless you're shooting them in the faces. It doesn't look like that. Shot him in the leg or something. But, yeah. Daniel, you okay? Oscar, I'm sorry. Colonel O'Neill. Yeah, give me a second here. I cannot. You said we couldn't be there for at least a year. Yes, the ship can go way faster than ten times the speed of light. Colonel, we saw the death gliders. They're prepping for launch, sir. Ah, oh, okay. We're gonna end on a cliffhanger, I see. Oh my gosh. It's two. Alrighty, well that was Stargate SG-1, Season 1, Episode 22. Um... Pretty decent episode, left me on a bit of a cliffhanger, um, of which I'm not going to be able to watch the next episode for like, a little bit, because I always take a week break between seasons. Um, interesting. I feel bad for Skara, but in saying that, we don't really have like a cure or anything like that for the goal, the gold so I don't know um feel like it was kind of inevitable uh we didn't see Daniel's wife um I don't maybe we'll have a cure by the time we get to that I don't know um but yeah pretty decent episode I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one Oh, oh, oh.